today I'm going to be showing fidgets that are good and bad for school. I'm going to be showing good fidgets. What I've got here is a marble and mesh. I think these are really good for school because they're super quiet and they're re really small and I've never gotten caught with these. My second good one is a bike chain. I think this one's really good as well because it's quiet and again it's small. And it's also a really fun fidget. It's small, but it's really fun. Third one I have is gobbles. Yeah, these things are pretty sticky and they might stick to like the ceiling if you throw them up, but we're not doing that. So they're good to stretch and squeeze. I can't do that with, two, with one hand, but I can squish them and they're nice to squish. So if you do that at school, they're good. I'm gonna be showing bad fidgets for school. Okay, so the first bad fidget I've got here are magnet beads. I mean, I love these things, but they are really loud and obnoxious during like tests and stuff. And a teacher's gonna get really annoyed if you're playing with these while she's talking. My second bad fidget for school is definitely a snapper. These things are ridiculously loud when you use them and definitely not made for school. And my third one, is a fidget pad. These things are fun for some of them and some of them are quiet, but the others are loud. And there's a lot of loud ones, most of them are loud. So I don't really recommend these, at least not for school. I love these for like home and stuff. Bye guys.